G'day, I'm Greg Black, the CEO of Education.au Limited. Computers use a lot of costly energy and also produce carbon emissions. So what can be done about this cost and also how can we do more to protect the environment? There's now a, a reasonably good literature on green computing and in this video we're going to talk about a basic checklist of actions that educational administrators can take to improve the situation for them. Our first and critical action is to undertake an audit of technology in your institution. And using that data, produce a plan. A plan that's of course driven by your learning and teaching ambitions, but also takes those facts into consideration. Once the plan's been established, the next thing to do is to identify a purchasing strategy. Buy laptops instead of PCs, because laptops save you about 70% in energy consumption. If you are going down the path of PCs, think thin clients, again a major saving. When you're purchasing, don't over specify. There's always a temptation to get all the sort of bells and whistles, but they cost, and they cost a lot in energy terms. Then consider buying high efficiency power supply units, and finally only buy green rated equipment especially equipment that will ensure that you don't have too many non-recyclable components. The next step is a maintenance strategy. And here there are two key components. The first is to arrange to switch monitors to low power mode after a period of inactivity. You know, I'd say, say five minutes would be fantastic. And secondly, to consider switching off your PCs after hours. And with that, have a mechanism in place so that your faxes, your printers and your non-network computers can also be switched off. Basically, in an after-hours situation, switching off saves far more than putting things into sleep mode. Then we have a sort of a range of specific maintenance issues that, that, that you can consider, such as replacing cathode ray monitors with LCDs, saving about 50%. Consider all of your equipment and whether you can um, extend its life because that will you know save a considerable amount in terms of energy and also try and rationalize and network all your equipment again significant savings can be had all education institutions have a lot of printers set printing to duplex mode as a default setting that'll save a lot of time energy and paper fourthly if you have a data center Consider only purchasing highly efficient servers. And secondly, try and maximise the use of virtual servers wherever you can. And finally, for your data centre, identify your cooling strategy so that you're only cooling what you need to cool. The final component of, of this overall green computing checklist is about recycling. And people quite often think, forget about this. Have a, a policy and a program on recycling. These days, particularly in cities, there are many options in terms of recycling um, facilities available. So have a strategy and a policy. The URL coming up now will provide you with a host of useful links that provide you more detailed information. I hope this has been of assistance. Thanks.